To need is military school. Military school? At Colonel Korg's Military Academy, we believe kids are nothing more than short adults. Move it! Move it! Move it! Oh, hey. tuh, tuh. What'd you let go for? I didn't do it. You bumped into me. Kachooey. I'll show you. I love it. Oh, help me. I do love it so. <sighs> right about now, those two moochers would be asking me for a sip. Gee, I, I wonder if I was too hard on them. Nah. Tonight on Hardline, kids speak out against adults who are too hard on them. Huh? Meet little Johnny Boom Boom, who had to go to military school. Now, every time he's bad, little Johnny Boom Boom gets sent off to his room room. Oh, 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 oh. they could come home worse than when I sent them. I gotta get those kids out of there. All right, my little heroes, <laughs> you got lookout duty. Now keep an eye out for infiltrators. If anybody comes in, you stop them. Be on your guard. You'll never know when you're being tested. Wow. This place is excellent. They must be out on maneuvers. What would great, great Uncle Colonel Mac Pecker do in this situation? Aha! He'd peck his way to the front lines. Battle helmet. <laughs> Camouflage. Transportation. <laughs> Military accessories ready. Commencing operation infiltration. <laughs> Bogey at three o'clock. Engage missile firing systems. Fire one. <laughs> now let's capture the info baiter. Boy, oh boy. This place is hardcore, but I'm a mech pecker, and there isn't an army alive that can stop that beak. There he is, using the old stilts on the water trick. Hey, Jaws, what's the matter? Snap away all you want. Can't get me. <laughs> Turn my bombs away! Huh? Ah! Come on, feet. We're almost there. Ah! 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 
so flush them into the open. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Skunk. Skunk. Ready? Fire! <laughs> Stink bomb! Target's on the move! Move it out! Battle to the metal! Soldiers, now let's see what we've got here. Ah, right. Watch out. Where are my kids, Mister Uncle Woody? Soldiers, you know this infiltrator? Sure, he's our Uncle Woody. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I uh need bowling partners. Yeah, take us home. But we love it here, Uncle Woody. You do? Yeah, we want to stay. And you're welcome to stay with them, soldier. Because tomorrow is Relatives Reconnaissance Day. How about huh? huh? Why, these little warriors get to hunt you down and capture you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound, uh, hey! <laughs> Would you look at that? He can't wait to get started. First squad, after him! Yes, sir! <laughs> Sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games. Sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm. What have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one. Always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee, 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 wee. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has? What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little... Ow! That smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm. 
Needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. <gasps> Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are. They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. <laughs> what style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run. This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Chili Willy has come out of nowhere to take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. You know, you don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. <laughs> Uncle Volley! Uncle Volley! Uncle Volley! I want the Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can I have it, yeah? Oh, Willie, wouldn't you rather have a keen stamp collection like your uncle, hmm? Oh... No. I want the Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! We want to get the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can we have it, huh? Please, it'll keep us busy while you nap. <laughs> all right, all right, but then I get a nap. Do you have the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Do you have the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Our toys are in the toy department. According to my computer, we only have one Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip left in stock. Then I guess it's mine. I have my value Yopper Club card. Yeah? Well, I've got two of a kind. That beats your hand. The toy's mine. The toy is mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I say, may the best uncle win. Wait a minute, that's not fair. I was here first. Go, yeah, come on, Uncle Woody, you could do it, you could do it! Go, go, get it, go, get it, go, 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 go
mm, mm. Without a toy, my Willy will be one unhappy boy. What can I do? Ah, at last, my Swedish woodworking will come in handy. You're gonna stay here too. Bye, Yingo. Bye, Yingo. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the best uncle. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Bye bye. <laughs> For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey! Enough with the up and down! <laughs> Your little wooden heads have more fun with this than a silly old doll. I'll trade you. Ah, pogo sticks don't have laser eye beams. <laughs> hey! Ah, ah, ah. Little Billy's gonna be as happy as a podgy Swedish banker on deposit day. Oh, Wally, wouldn't your nephew rather have a neat basketball? It doesn't have boomerang fists. <laughs> Sweden, and I want to buy it now. As a value shopper, it's all yours. Yes! Zack Zobar is mine! <laughs> the yig is up, Mr. Smarty Feathers. I need that toy. Hoidy <laughs> boidy, I got the toy. Nap time's over. One toy coming up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'd like to buy this and use my valued yopper card so I can get my bonus points. I'm saving them up for a fjord skimmer. Don't worry, sir. I'll bag it for you right now. You, you cheater! That's mine! <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, look, Willy, I got you the, the invisible torso, Zobar Zaki. Uh, look, kids, it's the battle damage Zack Zobar with special fall off arms and short circuit eye beams. No, it isn't. You guys broke it. Besides, the new cool toy is the Germatron Super Multi Mega Action Racer with lightning lasers. Oh, can I have fun, Uncle? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can we have one, Uncle Woody? Can we? Can we? I'm afraid we only have one in stock. 
Oh my, and we're closing in two minutes. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Belly button lint? <laughs> Belly button lint! Wrong again, Bonehead! It's nuclear fission! fission. <laughs> I love this show! <laughs> and now it's time for our Bonehead home round! What color is the Red Sea? Hello! The water in the Red Sea is blue! That's right! You've just won a fabulous Bonehead swimming pool! It'll be delivered in less than one hour. Ms. Meanie will never let me have a pool. But if I can get them to put it in when she's not here, she can't make me take it out. Say, Ms. Meanie, they're having a big cactus sale down at Prickly Pete's Garden Shop. Got all the cacti I need. Oh, look, a fashion show. You should go with some of your girlfriends. I don't have any girlfriends, Woodpecker. <laughs> I wonder she doesn't go out much. Hmm. But if Meanie had a gal pal to go downtown with, then maybe she'd get out of here for a while. You must be that adorable Miss Meanie, my sweet nephew Woody has told me so much about. Who are you? Why, I'm Woody's favorite Aunt Pecky from Louisiana. I love what you've done with this place. It's so early neglect. Say, I was just about to go out for a fun makeover day. Why don't you come along with me? Just us girls. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a homebody. Be besides, I got lots to do here. Blow out some earwax. Uh, put out some toe jam. Uh, count my change. Change, exactly. And you know what they say, dear. Change begins with you. <sighs> Yo? Yeah. Did I say yow? Oh, shucks, I meant you. Uh, change begins with you, dear. And if you're a homebody, then so am I. Why are you closing the shades? Because, dear, it's time for Aunt Pecky's miracle makeover treatment. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have nosy neighbors knowing all our secrets now, can we? <laughs> I like secrets. First, we're gonna unpack those bags. Oh. And we'll do it with Aunt Pecky's all-natural eye firmer. It's a patented formula, you know. <laughs> Doesn't that just make you feel ever so royal? Yeah. I feel kind of like Caesar. Caesar salad! <laughs> or a fruit cup. <clears throat> Don't you move a muscle. I'll be back in two shakes of a woodpecker's tail. <laughs> Pool goes in the back, boys, beneath the tree, and try to keep it down. Neighbors, you know. What? Look what you did. You wrecked the pool and the lawn. We'll fix it, ma'am. You have Bonehead's promise. Well, you just better, Buster. Be Pecky! Am I done yet, Pecky? Oh, my, yes. But now, Pecky's perky permanent ways, here you come. <laughs> Having a makeover partner is so much more fun than I ever thought. <laughs> Something smells like garbage. Garbage? Oh, that's because you've been down in the dumps so long, hon. Dumps? Ha! I get it. I smell like garbage because I've been down in the dumps. Ha <laughs> that, ha! That's a good one, Pecky. Oh, just look. You could hold down a roof with those nails, child. Oh! <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> Tickles! Tickles! Well, it's about ding-dong time. Now hurry up and get everything installed. I haven't got all day. Missed you! Now hold your breath. Mud pack! <laughs> It'll take years off your face. Ooh, hair's done. 
I feel like a new woman! Da da! And the new woman demands a new outfit! Now you tidy up and get out of those old things! <laughs> Yoo hoo! <laughs> out with the old you and in with the new you! Oh! Why? I, I, I don't know what to say! I, I love the new me! You keep the love fest going, Mimi. It's been so much fun keeping you busy, busy, busy all afternoon. Oh, oh my, how time flies. Kind of like me. I gotta go now. Toodles. But we'll do this again real soon, you bet. Bye-bye. Thanks, fellas. Later. I did it. Swimming pool, here I come. Hey, where's my pool? What? Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, hello, Woodpecker. Today was my lucky day. I got a makeover from your lovely aunt, and this notice says I won this pool. But you can't swim in it. They put it under the wrong tree. But do tell my new best friend, Aunt Pecky, she's invited any time. Oh, I will. Pecky! <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> you said it, sister. Oh, <laughs> that's right, Pecky. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Suction dart, check. Spook shoots, check. Ecto cam, double check. All ghost gear present and accounted for. We're ready to film our very own real live ghost capture. Um, are you sure we have enough protection, Splinter? Uh, ghosts can be real tough sometimes, you know. Ah, uh, don't worry, Nuthead. Together we can beat any ghost we find at that old abandoned house. Abandoned house? Sounds perfect for scaring those two right out of their little wooden heads. <laughs> oh, Billy, that would be the most joyous of fun. But, but, but what if there are ghosts haunting that place within? There's no such things as ghosts. <laughs> What's the matter? Your collar on too tight? <laughs> Tonight, on Splinter and Nuthead's Totally True Tales of Terror and Scary Stuff You See in the Dark, we will film the very first ghost capture ever. Right uh, behind this... Uh, <laughs> oh, this should be sincerely as easy as taking the third grade for the fourth time, Billy. <laughs> as they cannot even open the simplest of doors. Yeah, all we gotta do is jump out and say, boo! These kids will run like a drippy nose. Uh, hey, Splinter, we can't get in. Wait, Nahead. I got an idea. Wood woodpeckers. Get it? snacks, which I have come to love so much, Billy. By the way, might I interest you in one of these particularly effervescent treats? No. Now knock it off and help me haunt! Oh, I haven't seen anything this scary since Uncle Woody's meatloaf surprise. Uh. <laughs> I'm repeating just thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, 
As promised, we will film the capture of a ghost. Starting now! Those woodpeckers are not seeming to be of the scared variety, boss. Then we gotta make it scarier. Wasn't so bad. Told you we could handle this, Nuthead. Deploy Spook Shoot! Quick, we gotta hide! What's that noise? Oh, those would be jelly snacks, Billy. Would you like one now? No, I would not! But that gives me a brainstorm. Come on! Now, without fear, we bravely take you back into the haunt site, ready for another round with that ghost. Louie, your sweet tooth came in handy after all. I am wanting that I should not be part of this scaredom any longer. <laughs> Billy. Oh, b -b 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 Billy. There's a. What are you going about? <sighs> There's no ghost. We gotta get back out there. There are no real ghosts here after all, Splinter. Yeah, but I think there's a killer croc living in Ms. Meanie's toilet. We can film that. <laughs> and you know what? I, I once saw a bog monster in that big puddle outside Mr. Galagali's garden center. Uh-uh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-uh, no way. Yeah. No way. Yes, it's true. <laughs> in a big insurance premium. Let's go on the rides, Uncle Woody. Gee, uh, don't you want to win one of these fabulous prizes first? Cock-a-doodle-doo to you. Actually, no. Okay, I'm ready. To make sure you don't win. <laughs> Uncle Woody. 
Yeah, thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Hey, they hit that target. The dummy didn't dunk, dummy. Well, I think there's some cheating going on here, bub. I want to try for myself. <coughs> Whoa, palsy wowsy chum o' mine. Put your money away. Don't get a bent beak over losing some dumb calico cockadoodle rooster. <laughs> if you play a kitty game, you only win a kitty prize. But if you play the big games, you win <laughs> the big prizes. Let the games begin. Watch how easy it is, chum. <laughs> Sports car, mister. Hey! Gee, that's too bad, Ace. You lose again. <laughs> I need a bigger mallet. I'm hitting this one out of the park. <laughs> Hold on, sucker! Ha 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 Get even! Why, a woodpecker of your obfuscated talents should try a game of skill! Need any pointers? Not a chance! The federal type regulations require I, uh, check the air pressure of that ball before every toss. Perfect. It's just right for sticking it to you. Uh, I mean, uh, sticking it to me. Because uh, I think you're going to win this time for sure, champ. I got some serious questions about your games, mister. And I got just one question for you. Ever play darts? Of course, you need some eye-hands coordination to win this game, sport. They don't call me Eagle Eye Woody for nothing. Uh, I wouldn't want to distract you, so I'll just stand behind you. Oh, you blew it, pal. But you were so close. Wanna try again? Yeah, but this time I'm going for broke. <laughs> That's what I like to see. A real chump. I mean the champ. Just line up my tin darts right here in front of me, bub. We aims to please. I'll just stand out of the... Hey! Oh, ow, ow, ow. How about that? I just won every prize you have, Carney Man. You cheated, Woodpecker. Whoa, what about you, Mr. Spring and Glue and fans and step right up and let me rob you blind? <laughs> Folks, you practically float away with all our prizes. No! Some rock candy, please. Ah! This blows chunks, mostly the big kind. Yeah! Rigging the games again, eh, Buzz? We have ways of dealing with cheats like you. 
Okay, fire away, kid. Oh, good! <laughs> I give! I give! Stop already! I'm a drowner! I'll never cheat again! I swear! No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away! I'll be back soon with another cartoon! <laughs> <laughs> ah, at last, a vacation in Bavaria, the home of Bavarians. What's this? Free food and fun, too, yeah? I'm there. The red carpet treatment. These, uh, Bavarians sure know how to treat a guy. Boy, oh, boy, oh. Whoa! I'm Gunther! You came to be my new best friend, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the big idea? You come to play with Gunther, yeah? <laughs> You mean if I just play with you, I get to stay in this swell joint for free? That's it? <laughs> He's a live one, all right. But this is too good to pass up. You're in luck, Gunter, because playing just happens to be my middle name. <gasps> goody, 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 goody! Then here's our new secret buddy handshake! <laughs> what a very annoying kid. But I was a kid once, too, you know. <laughs> This is the life. Relax all day, relax all night. And just come up with simple ways to keep old Gunter occupied. Hey! Woody, woody, woody! We play Navy battle now! Yeah, yeah, whatever floats your boat, kid. I'll use this boat. You go get your own. Aye, aye, woody! That ought to keep him busy for a while. For a nap, I'll have the place all to myself. While Gunter's a napping, I'll be a tapping. Oh, and now for my second course. So, Mr. Bad Woodpecker Guy, you thought you could escape Uba Duba Man! I found you! I'm a bunny! I'm a bunny! That 
does it. Freebies or no freebies, I'm out of this joint. You may catch a glimpse of the Queen if you're lucky. <gasps> the Royal Kitchen! Oh, it's been my lifelong dream to be the Queen's Royal Chef! <laughs> yes, Your Majesty! Cream puffs and eclairs flambe! I can whip those up right away! <laughs> I am so sorry. Is that the way for a royal cooking assistant to behave? Royal cooking assistant? No, it is not. I am the great Volley Volus, the Queen's new royal chef from Sweden. This my first day here, and I got to make my famous Swedish taffy for Her Highness in less than one hour. You will assist the great Chef Wally, yeah? <gasps> wow. If I can prove to Chef Wally that I'm a good cook, I could become a real royal chef. Now, Woodpecker, work, work, work! All cooking utensils present and accounted for, sir! Out of my way! And check the taffy's taffiness. Check the taffy's taffiness? Aye, aye, sir. Please, some salt water. I need a bit of honey. Gooey marmalade. Yeah, a bit of chewing gum. What in the name of all flaming George? Ooh, 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 ooh. Turn off the machine! Oh no! What lever do I use? Whoa! We'll shut it down! Die! Until you're me and for the dummy, yeah. 
I guess Down was wrong. No, Chef Wally, please! Just let me cook something and you'll see that I'm a real kitchen magician! No way, Houdini. You'll do your magic on these. Grease them all in five minutes or you're fired. Hmm. How am I going to grease all these pans that fast? The dishwasher. Like I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <clears throat> this butter should do the trick. trying to do? Ruin me! What's this? Oh, no! Take that and 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 two of those! All done! <laughs> oh, no! We're late! Woodpecker, finish the taffy! If you mess up, I'll see the only place you cook is in the Royal Dungeon. Everything happens to Bali. The recipe's all in Swedish. Oh, here goes nothing. I'll add some honey. And maybe a dash of this, a pinch of that. Yeah, I'm all over this dessert. You bet! I hope that Taffy assistant's got my Taffy ready. Oh, maybe I used a little too much of this and that, or that and the other. <laughs> that doesn't smell like my Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you did to my famous Taffy. <laughs> is responsible for this. Oh, well, uh, Your Majesty, uh, this one right here, my assistant, she is responsible for everything. She did it all. You're an assistant? Not anymore. That's right. You're fired. Fired? Why, I'm promoting her. <laughs> what? Winnie, you are my new royal chef. Yeah, I love this. And Wally, you're demoted to assistant. Be the world's greatest royal chef! No, no! I am the greatest chef in the world, not her! You can't do this! I will appeal to the speed. Oh, don't be too hard on him, Your Highness. He means well. He's just a little stuck on himself. <laughs> oh, 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 how droll! Very amusing! Oh, thank you, Highness. <laughs> Oh boy, today is the big game. Pepper McCracken could hit his 500th home run, and I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> One for the front row, please, bub. There's only one ticket left for the game, and it's in the cheap seats. Okay. Huh? Sold! Hey, what's the big idea? That's my ticket. Not anymore, funny little man. <laughs> Home run. I'd say it 
it was more of a foul ball. <laughs> hey! No. Strike one! No. Strike two! <laughs> Catch by moi. <laughs> hmm, now where did that ball game busting bully go? Ah. <laughs> Enjoy your grub, Bob. Why you let me Not. I was just looking for this. <laughs> hmm. Team mascot, Rocky the Boy Rocket. I know just how I'll give that guy a seat. On the moon. <laughs> rah, rah, etc. Go Rockets! <laughs> attention, sports fans, attention! Rocky the Boy Rockets Lucky Seat Contest is about to begin. <sighs> A contest? Oh, and I didn't study. That's right, ladies and germs. Who is the lucky one seated in aisle O? Oh. Ow. Exit me. Oh, I hate alphabetical order. This hurts my head. Aisle O, as in, oh my gosh, I'm a big dumb bully with the winning ticket. Okay. One, two, L, seven, M, N, carried it. Three, oh, 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 bingo! That's me! Row 57, seat nine. Woo <laughs> what do I win? <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Rockets don't have red hair. Do they? No! Holy shamoly! Apparently today's seventh inning stretch festivities are starting early. Give me back my ticket! Oh, that's gonna leave them seeing stars. Just get hit by a turnip truck, you know. Well, not yet, anyway. Stealing your ticket was wrong and disconsiderable of me. Please, you take the seat. No, you take it. No, you take it. It's all yours. No, it's all yours. No, I insist. You, me, you, me. My, oh, my, and there's a deep drive into left field by Pepper McCracken. It could, it might, it may be out of the ballpark. Gee, you know, I will take this seat. 
whoever catches McCracken's 500th home run ball will be the winner of front row season tickets. Woohoo! Thank you, yes sir. Yes! Holy shamoly! What a spectacular catch by the Woodpecker fan in center field! Say, Sporto, why don't you just keep the seat after all? It's a, it's a good seat. I I like it. It's all mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>